In 2013, Carcass returned from the Aether with Surgical Steel, which was a very highly acclaimed album. And in a lot of ways, a lot of people, including myself, felt it righted a lot of wrongs that were uh, presented on their wildly maligned Swan Song album. That album kind of seemed like the final nail in the coffin to what was a very amazing band. But um, with Surgical Steel, the band rekindled more of a youth, youthful spirit and um, stylistically placing this material, I would say, between necroticism and heartwork. Surgical Steel was well written, well recorded, um, and again, highly acclaimed. The band was back, and they seem to be setting their sights on reclaiming um, all that was lost after Swan Song. And touring the circuit, festivals, they very much put their stamp on 2013. Following it up with 2014, what is this called? Surgical Remission and Surplus Steel. This is an EP. Obviously odds and ends that were left over from the Surgical Steel sessions. And to be completely honest, this EP, pretty much a snooze fest for me. But it's been seven years, and that's a long time to prepare for another full-length album. But in the meantime, we are given this little EP right here. Despicable just came out here a month or so ago. I just picked it up, and i got to say, my initial enthusiasm for this was quite positive, very uh, much hyped on it until I spent a lot of time with it. The more I sat and spun Despicable, this is four songs. There is um, Living, The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue, The Long and Winding Beer Road, Under the Scalpel Blade, album version, I'm assuming that's a remake, and Slaughtered in Soho. The first song on here was the first single that came out, um, The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue. And honestly, that's a song worth getting excited about. It very much fits within the surgical steel um, realm of enthusiasm as far as songwriting goes. It um, has a very interesting structure that goes in unsuspecting places, and there's a riff two, or two and a half minutes in that is a very exciting riff, very well done, very unique, very much highly advanced and carcass sounding, even though it does have very much of a, uh, um, a more of a modern take. I would say if Surgical Steel was the logical transformation between necroticism and hard work, I would say this EP the more I sat and got to know this release sits between, it would have been the, the perfect transition of between Heartwork and Swan Song. Now, I've in the past have stated that Heartwork is not something that I love and that, to be completely honest, I do enjoy the album. I think it's a good album. I think the, I think it's been overhyped over the years. I think that if your name of your if the name of your band is Carcass, that is a very very much a, a slick, polished, um, musically advanced album that sounds like it could have been a great album by anyone other than a band named Carcass. If that makes any sense, you know, with a band named Carcass, I want to hear the pustules. I want to hear the blood sloshing out of the blood bucket when saliva is dropped into it. But that's to me that's Carcass, and that is Symphonies of Sickness. That is Necroticism, Descanting the Insalubrious. Two of my all-time favorite albums. So, you know, there's this band's got a place in my heart for sure. And The Living Dead at the Manchester Morgue, I think, sits quite comfortably within their pantheon, um, their discography, as a worthwhile carcass song. The other three songs, very much, though they still sound solid, well-written, um, they're very much in the... Um, grooved out death metal sphere um, again that grind and roll death and roll presence that was so much 
the disappointment on Swan Song kind of seeps into those three songs. And the more I listened, the more it became painfully evident. <laughs> uh, the excitement, the structure, the build-up, um, the delivery of Living Dead the Manchester Morgue, it seemed the three songs that follow it are very anticlimactic. The, uh, the bright side of this album, Jeff Walker's vocals sound amazing. Still, after all these years of doing what he does, screaming at this high, um, high uh, level of intensity, sharpness, he's holding in there really good. The guitar work, the production, the, I think they have a new drummer on this too, and it's really good. Everything is really good on here. What really suffers is the last three songs. Songwriting isn't the best. So is this just because it's an EP, you know, getting ready, trying to wet everybody's palate, getting ready for the next full length? Are these just throwaway, you know, if this is any indication, there's a lot of throwaway tracks on this EP. Is this similar? I could understand that being the case if this came out after a new full length album, but if this is the... Um, the hype machine that's supposed to get us all ready for the new one. Believe me, I'm there, I'm ready, I want to hear some new Carcass. And the first track on this really tells me that the new album could be something special. But I'm going to be remain cautious, because like I said, that groovy death and roll stuff just does not seem like Carcass to me. But, you know, again, I've listened to this a lot, a lot more than maybe this review is uh, it's painting a neg very negative light on this which this is not a bad EP it's worth the money it's also released on a 10 inch I like it if you're a carcass fan you're gonna like it I've got three causes for concern on here and we're just gonna wait and see how the next album pans out but if you're in the market for despicable you're in the market for some new carcass can't go wrong here. Like I said, Living Dead, the land, Manchester Morgue is definitely worth picking this up for. And you can kind of see the status of CDs right now. This is a Nuclear Blast release. And this is how much they put into the insert. It's just a... I don't know if that's just the way CDs are going with even the bigger companies. But um, I'm glad I have it. I'm a completist. And it's been seven years. Let's see what Carcass can do on the next one. And if this is any indication, it's going to be an interesting, interesting ride. And thanks all for watching. Uh, if you want to talk about this release, let's drop a comment. Let's chat. Tell me I'm an idiot. Tell me I'm right on. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We're going to be doing another review. Next review is going to be the new Necrophobic. Hopefully that will be coming up here in another week or so. But thanks for watching. Y'all take care.